At the 2015 Chicago Auto Show, Nissan's show stand was absolutely full of performance-oriented Nismo badge vehicles, like the Funky Chute Crossover, the Sentra Nismo Concept Sedan, and the mighty 600 horsepower GTR Nismo Sports Car. Also present was a brand new and bright red GTR LM racing car, not to mention the 370Z Nismo Roadster Concept, which is a thinly veiled peek at a future production model. Now, every automaker wants to be the star of any auto show, to grab the attention of visitors that are gathered to see the most exciting new cars. In Nissan's case, however, it was my pen and notepad that literally got grabbed. That's because Hiroshi Tamura, chief product specialist for the Nissan GTR Nismo brand, had lots of drawing and explaining to do when it came time to describe what sets Nismo vehicles apart. Words such as emotion and essence, not to mention that comparison to a grapefruit, frequently entered the conversation. As uh, origin, as a Nissan Motor Sports Company, and 30 years old. The 30 years old, we learn about for some essence about for Nissan DNA. And this kind of, you know, super great fruit of the essence squeezed down and drops to put in for some cars. That is a Nismo philosophy. And this one is not only performance chaser, that's total balance of the very important of the, how can I say, for emotional vehicle development play. That is the Nismo. Tamura is not addicted to horsepower or troubled by spec sheets, even when he's singling out the audacious GTR Nismo, a car that would give a Bugatti Veyron a serious run for its money. Huge horsepower figures make for great headlines, but Tamura wants Nismo products to be usable on a daily basis. Horsepower for horsepower's sake doesn't factor into the equation or any of his sketches. Nismo's president, Shoichi Miyatani, was also present and spoke with us about the otherworldly looking GTR LM Nismo racing car. Unlike other cars in its class, which have mid engine layouts and rear wheel drive, the GTR LM has a twin turbocharged V6 in front of the cockpit and power is fed to 13 inch wide front tires also at the front of the car. In a complete reverse from normal practice, the front tires are actually four inches wider than the ones at the rear. An energy recovery system also helps to give the GTR LM a hybrid powered jolt of extra acceleration whenever it's needed. Now, winning at Le Mans is hard enough, so why go to the trouble of making the task more difficult with such an unconventional race car? Miyatani says it's to build credibility for all the cutting edge technology and, eventually, to beat other automakers to the checkered flag. This technology could also filter its way to Nissan and Nismo badge vehicles in the near future. I'm Nick Kerchesky, Autos Editor for the New York Daily News.